Welcome, welcome, welcome to the podcast. It's Mr. Ish. We're here at Kids Bay Boys and Girls Club for their clubhouse. The year 2022 is back for another season. I don't know if I should continue the other season or start a new season. I, I don't know yet. I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to do a podcast. Um, and we're here with a group that seems like they don't want to be here. But too, too bad. They're going to be here now. Um, let's go around the table and just introduce ourselves and get everybody your age and all that stuff. We'll start off with you, young lady. My name is Leah Sanchez and I'm 10 years old. Welcome to the podcast. Happy New Year. My name is Aaron Batista and I'm 10 years old. Thank Welcome you. to the podcast, sir, and Happy New Year to you. My name is London and I'm 9 years old. Why is London the only one that don't sound like she's on the microphone? London, talk right into the microphone. Move it closer to you. My name is London, and I'm nine years old. Oh, London's a young one here. And I'm Mr. Ish, and I'm here, and I'm happy. It's a new year, and hopefully we get a paycheck sometime soon. The times are rough out here in the streets. Um, happy holidays. How was your uh, vacation? You go, anybody could jump in. How was your 10 days off of school? It was good. It was good? You did anything interesting? Anything you, you normally don't know? Don't do, I mean? You bake some cookies and make a cake. Make I a lasagna to, or something? I went to Starbucks. Ooh, Starbucks. Oh, you're getting fancy. You went to that $5 coffee. I got 75 cents from the bodega. You went to the $5 coffee. You, you What you got? You got something good? You I got a hot got chocolate? vanilla bean frappuccino. Ooh, frappy. I don't I do not do none of that stuff. Um, But I, I, I they do smell good when you go there. Um, I don't, you know what it is? I don't know how to order from there. It's like a, it's like a Willy Burger. I'm going to bring that back to my Willy Burger situation. If you don't know how to order a, a venti and a latte and a and a frat and a, and you want ice and no blend, I feel like I feel kind of dumb. So I don't like ordering in those places. I told my wife, just get me a hot chocolate. Give me a hot chocolate, put a little uh, peppermint, and I'm good. What about you, sir? Anything interesting happened on your ten days off? I didn't do much. You just use my laptop, and that's pretty much it. Okay, you made sure you ate, you took a bath, and you used your laptop. Yes. Okay. All right, so ho- hopefully you showered at least a. eight times out of those 10 days. And I woke up at like 5 a.m. <laughs> 5 a.m.? You got a new laptop? That's what it was? I uh, know, but it always feels new for some reason. It feels new because you had time to play with it? I guess. Okay. Were you, were you on any interesting thing on your laptop? You doing Roblox? You being creative? You're drawing? You, you, you're researching? you Googling? you Yahooing? you uh, what's that? <laughs> she looked at me, yahooing. That don't even make sense. Uh, you uh, YouTubing? What are you doing? Uh, I was making Roblox games in Roblox Studio. Okay. So there's a studio that you can make, like, the backgrounds and all that? No, you make um Roblox games. I don't know nothing about it. Um, What about you, London? What you did on your wonderful time off? I see you had time to get your hair did, and that, that must have been important to you. I got a haircut. What about you? I had a humongous packet. Oh, I, I feel you. My daughter had a humongous packet. I had to do a cereal box project off of a book that I read. Okay, so you had work. You, aren't you guys in the same school? None of you guys in the same school? Well, that's good. Wait, we're in the same school. Oh, you two guys are. Same okay. class. Same class and everything. Well, London goes to a school that they actually make her do work. I don't know what school you'll go to if you want to shout it out. London, what's your school? PS 204. PS 204, what's your school? PS 291. 291 gave you no homework? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're, uh, yeah, They're setting you up for failure. That's what they're doing. Um, most schools give you pamphlets, you know, big, a lot of work to do during this time. Um, but I guess your school gave you a real break. Um, London had to do homework projects. What else you had to do? Well, I did the packet in like two days, so... That was easy. I didn't have to do the project, actually, because I didn't really use a cereal box. Oh, uh, what you did? You made your own box? What you did? I just filled out the the packet. Okay, so you, you did. You you went around the loophole. There was a gray, a gray area that you did. Um, I know my daughter had a, a project to do about avalanches. And um, then, of course, Daddy, being the artistic guy, he had to create a 3D project and mountains and all types of stuff. So, But it came out nice, though. I do a good job. 
I mean, I make her look good at least. Um, you know, as a parent, we always stuck doing all these projects. So, um, anything else fun happen? You got, you got any special gift? You got, you got, you got an iPhone 14 or something? You got rollerblades? I got iPhone 13. Ooh, step up your game. You got 13 like mine? Like this? Same color? Ooh, what color you got? Oh, you got oh you got the special order. Oh, they thought about you. That's a special order. That means that your mom's or your dad, whoever bought it for you, must have thought about you. And that that comes in about you know ten to twenty one days. That was a special thought. That's nice. That's a that's a big gift. I got an art set. Beautiful. You could be creative forever, ever. Um, color pencils, uh, paints. What, what you did? Both crayons, crayons, all everything. Oil pastels, crayons, paint, and cr- oil pastels. In in my days, they, they were just called cra- uh, uh, crepas. That's what they were called. But I know you guys are oil pastels now. Um, that's nice. That you could be creative with and that. My and my sister got rollerblades. Rollerblades. Oh, that's throwback. Rollerblades is throwback. Heelys. Heelys. My son used to have heelys and he used to love them. I didn't get heelys. Nah. Well, I wanted those shoes where I had the wheels in them. It's kind of like heelys. But you could like walk regularly. Yeah, well, well, heelys was like that. You walk regular and then when you just get on the heels, you're just rolling down the hill. It was so cool. I thought it was one of the best inventions ever made. Then heelys. Yeah, but then, you know, he started wearing them in school and they started banning them. Because people were in the hallways just heeling down the hallways. And teachers are... Very rude for no. Them. I mean, the thing about about that is that even like here, we just try not to get you in danger where you could get hurt. Like I really wouldn't mind if you healing throughout the whole building, but if you're healing and you're on the bridge and then you fall and you crack your foot and you hit your face on the on the thing, and then it becomes something that you know is dangerous. So you know, no healings in school. And when they did that, then he was upset. But um, healings with the joint. Heelys and what was the name of that other thing, that whip stick? You ever had that? That had like two wheels and it was like a skateboard and you had to like go back and forth. Yes. The whip stick. Yo, I try to get on that, almost bust myself. It's it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, I've seen him. My son had that too. He, he, was, he was into that stuff. He has a skateboard now. Uh, one of those motorized ones. He'd be moving. My uncle, I'm, my brother has one of those. Yeah, he, he's be moving. He's going like 40 miles an hour. I told him, you need a helmet. Because you're going to hit a little, a little bottle cap and you're going to crack your head. You're not going to get a new head. Man, I can tell you. Anything I went else? into the hallway one time with my brother's um motorized skateboard. In the hallway? Yeah. Oh, you live in a mansion that you could you could get that hallway rock. No, I mean, like I live in an apartment building. It's like the hallway. Complex. It's very long? Mm, it's, the hallways are kind of long. Okay. It takes like a couple minutes to go to the other side and back. Oh, you live in a mansion then. Yeah, so I sat on it. You live, you live in Grand Concourse? I don't really want to see it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, it's the avenue. You're not telling me the b- apartment building. Mm, I don't even All know. Right, he don't, he don't, he's not proud of where he lives at. You live in the PJs? I know where he lives. Oh, she's about to shut you out, so you better say something. <laughs> he put his hands up like he's going to say something. Uh, he live in the PJs? No? Okay. I mean, ain't nothing wrong living in the PJs. It's I live in the- I, sat, I sat on the skateboard, and then I just turned on the motor. So then I just zoomed down. Down the hallway. Okay. Um, it was like driving a car. Did I get any good gifts? It was like driving a car. I liked it. It was fun. I only got like three gifts this year. I got a pair of sneakers, some sweatpants. And I got one of these things that, um, it's like to clean your car. It has a whole bunch of different brushes and stuff like that. Because my car be dirty sometimes. My car's filthy right now. <laughs> if you just see my car, it's, it's, it's really disrespectful. My daughters don't even want to get in my car. It's, it's, it's probably the dirtiest it's ever been. Let's put it that way. Uh, she'll she'll confirm it. You can pass by and you can see it. It's filthy. <laughs> it deserves to to be uh, washed. Um, yeah, I only got three gifts. I mean, I used to don't expect anything big, so I'm fine with that. Anything else? You guys got money? My a couple of dollars? Took, my mom took me to Starbucks. Huh? Just Starbucks? You got Starbucks like a gift card? Oh yeah, um, from my church I got um, Starbucks cup oh. and Starbucks gift cards. Your, your church is sponsored by Starbucks? Cause that's a nice church if they're sponsored by Starbucks. That's that's, no, that's some good the, money there. They give the kids um, presents. That's cool. I like that. Um, my daughter's got a present from church too. It was like this um, 
I think it's like this duck and it sings, but it also mimics anything you say. So it sings like some stuff and then it mimics anything you say. It's quite annoying once it does it. Like, you know, there's two of them. So they're both going at each other and they're repeating things. It's annoying. If you ever want to, if you ever grow up, when you do grow up and you have to give a, a gift to somebody and you really want to annoy the parents, you get them like uh, instruments like drums, yes. tambourine, anything yes. that makes a lot of noise and you don't like the people, that's the gift that you give them. If I'm yeah, trying to, you know. if I'm trying, if I'm in that situation, I'm going to willingly, willingly, air cautions, um, uh, take care of their kid. Then when I show them, then I show them animal noises. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you. The I, dog goes moo, the moo goes dog. If you gave my son a drum set, I would leave it in the box and give it to somebody else. I said, I don't want none of that stuff. I'm trying to have peace and quiet. I'm trying to have more, more noise. Um, all right, guys. Well, I guess that's as much information as I'm going to get from you guys. Happy New Year's. Hopefully, you're a little more talkative next year. And you can say your goodbyes. Bye. 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 This is not willing. Check, 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 check. One, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. All right, the first podcast of 2022.